The editors at Charlie Hebdo have decided that they will no longer do caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, they didn't really give an elaborate expl explanation for why they've made this decision, uh, but the current uh, editor said the following, We've done our job. We have defended the right to caricature. We have drawn Muhammad to defend the principle that one can draw whatever they want. It is a bit strange, though. We are expected to exercise a freedom of expression that no one dares to. Yeah. This is a, puts us in a tough spot, right? Because I don't agree with the decision, but it's easy for me to not agree with the decision. Yeah. Um, they're the ones risking their lives. So I was hoping that the reason they were going to give was along the lines of what Glenn Greenwald has written before. Look, we made our point, uh, which Glenn didn't write, but uh, they could have, Charlie Hebdo was 1,000 within their percent within their rights, say we made our point, we lost our, our brothers in, uh, in at this paper making that point. Twelve people died as right. a result of that shooting. Right, and, and, and the cartoons, now the Glenn Greenwald point, are offensive uh, to, to some that we don't want to offend. Right, so Greenwald's point was: Would you do cartoons uh, making fun of the Holocaust? Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't, right? And there's a bunch of things he pointed out that you would probably wouldn't make fun of Christians for. It, it's a little easier to do it of Muslims because they're the minority, both in Europe and, and the U.S. And like, in some ways, you're being more brave because you risk assault by Muslim radicals, mm -hmm. and in other ways, it's easier for society to accept. Whereas they wouldn't accept cartoons about the Holocaust, they wouldn't find that funny, right? So I was hoping that they were going to make a point like that, but they didn't. They basically seem to be indicating we've done enough, mm -hmm. like uh, you know, and we lost all those people, and we're just drawing the line here, right? Yeah. And 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 I wish, and this is very selfish of me, but I wish they hadn't, right? I wish they hadn't made that statement uh, because it does feel a little bit like. The terrorists won. Yeah, they wanted they wanted them to stop drawing Muhammad cartoons, and now they're stopping drawing Muhammad cartoons, and, and this that doesn't feel good. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you in that I don't want them to stop because I believe in freedom of expression, regardless of how offensive it might be to certain groups of people. But at the same time, they are putting themselves at risk by doing it, and they have to make a decision that's best for them, their livelihood, their well-being, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, this, this story makes me feel a little sick inside. Because mm -hmm. the fact that someone can get that offended by a caricature, like to the point where they will literally murder people over it, is so stupid. And I don't want them to win. I don't want them to have a moment where they feel as though they were successful in doing what they did and achieving it through violence. But unfortunately, this is the decision that was made and they have to do what's right for them. And so our, our support of them in the past and, and is not just theoretical. We ran the Muhammad cartoons, right? Uh, now they were the ones that took much greater risk, uh, being the ones to draw them in the first place. Uh, but then I think they're fair to say, "Hey, okay, well, let's pair, pass the baton off to somebody." I mean, his last comment is basically saying, "Like, why is it all on us? Mm -hmm. Why, you know, if you guys agree with this, why don't you chip in?" <laughs> in a sense, right? And and I think that's. Charlie Hebdo has every right in the world to say that they've done enough. They've done more than enough, right, to fight for the cause of freedom of expression. Um, but but I hope somebody does pick up the baton, and not in a gratuitously offensive way than the the, the idiots like Pamela Geller did, like ha ha, we're gonna get the Muslims, mm -hmm. like they did in the U.S. But genuine, uh, you know, parody, caricatures, cartoons, humor, satire. All those things, no religion should be exempt from that, and we shouldn't get intimidated by the radicals and the fundamentalists, um, and, and we should be able to fight back in an intelligent and reasonable way. And, and at the very least, we thank Charlie Hebdo for their service, for having taken part in that fight for a long time and very courageously. Well, you know, they, um, just I mean, this could be a good caveat because uh, my posse slash the TYT Live audience deemed hot guy behind me did point out. That um, what if they just didn't announce it? You know, why did they have to put out this whole thing saying, "Hey, you know, we're not gonna do it anymore"? Just what if you just don't do it? Is there gonna be some countdown? Is there gonna be someone later that says, "You know what, Charlie Hebdo hasn't done a Muhammad cartoon in 45 days. Now it's 100. Look, if you're, now 200. If, if you're keeping it real, um, probably because they don't want to get attacked. Yeah. 
But if they just don't do it without announcing it, no, where no, would the attack come from? Based on what? You think idiot Muslim radicals are like paying attention and keeping track of what cartoons they ran and didn't run? No, they just go hit them again just to hit them again. Because now they're famous because of the first attack, right? So now this is them publicly saying, hey man, wasn't us. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the reality of it. And so that's why we're a little upset by it. Though I don't know if we have a right to be upset or not, but but it but it sucks. It sucks yeah. that uh, that it looks like they're publicly backing down. Yeah, and that's otherwise. Why would you say it in public?